We got another package. This one's from our good friend, Trooper Bry. Brian Barry. Let's see what he sent. I can't believe people are sending me stuff. It's incredible. Shredded paper. Okay. <laughs> it was just weird seeing this in the box. I know that's not what's in there, but that, that tripped me out a little bit, Brian. Oh, man. <laughs> I know it's in here, but I thought he sent me a pin for it. I'm like, what the? I wanted the waterproof one. Damn it. The orange one. Why'd you send me the black one? Ooh, a nice uh, towel to wax the truck. Oh. Oh. Is that you, Brian? Mmm. You got some good uh, detergent. Kamikaze Kurt. That's what they call me in Stealth Digger Nation. Ow. So sorry, bud. It's not a pinpointer. Thanks, Brian. I got that part. Unless you're crazier than a shithouse rat and use cigars to find relics. Well, I'm not going to go there either. Everybody knows my therapy methods. Um, so, uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, I'm a huge fan of the Stealth Diggers. And I did a challenge to like and comment on all their videos and then send Charlie a cigar. Brian, on Facebook, or in the YouTube world, Trooper Bry. Check out his stuff, really good. Um, he's just getting into detecting uh, May last year, but I have a feeling some really good things are gonna be coming out of him this year. Um, so Trooper Bry completed the Stealth Digger Challenge and he went to, I believe it was Connecticut Valley Tobacconists. And they gave him a really warm welcome and really hooked up uh, Digger Charlie with some awesome cigars. And <laughs> Trooper Brian thought of me, and look at that, he sent me two. That's crazy. I'm not, I'm not expecting, you know, anybody to send me anything, but that's awesome. So, one's a OPK, then it says Old Powder, Old Powder Keg. Sweet. That one just looks delicious. And the other one is a Battleground Jackson. Check them bad boys out. I'll be sure to uh, let you know how they taste. I'm sure they're going to be phenomenal. The combination of the smell of the cigars and Trooper Barai's uh, fabric softener. I hope you need to wipe this on your butt. Uh, it's very aromatic. Yay! Uh, yeah. Trooper Barai, you're awesome. Thank you so much. You didn't have to send me anything. Um, but yeah. Awesome, buddy. All right, I'm out here today at a little park. Let my uh, my daughter go sleigh riding. Good. And I, uh, where are you going? You gonna steer that thing? Drive like your mother. Um, I pulled a few silvers out of here. Nothing crazy old. Silver quarters, Washington quarters, and uh, Roosevelt dimes. I pulled uh, my first mercury dime out of here. I think it was a 41. My tiny sharpshooter coil. But there's a little park and there's little row of trees here. There's a stream that runs through it. And last summer I couldn't get in there because it was too thick. But I've noticed today that it's way down. All right, I came over to the little stream and uh, as you can see, See how this, this row here is? You couldn't get to any of this in this in this last summer. So I had to get up in here and detect all around this little creek. 
Awesome. Once the snow melts, get in there with the detector. See what we can find. Oh yeah! All right, well it's March 11th, and uh, I'm down here in a little park by my house. It has a little stream, and there's no snow on the ground today. Just fired up a uh, Battleground Jackson that my buddy Trooper Bry sent me, and uh, thank you for that. Uh, this park isn't real old, but I've found a few silver coins here. So I'm gonna do a little swinging back here in the brush and see what we come up with. I ain't found much here. Real trashy by the stream and uh, clad in a couple weedies. But I will say the cigar Trooper Bryce sent me is really good. It's probably the most mellow cigar I've ever had. It's uh, really smooth and mellow. So it's going well with this nice 65 degree day. Um, I don't know. Probably not gonna find much here. If I do, I'll let you know. You know how the you know how it goes. You know how this works. Don't mock me. Well, you didn't see me pull anything out of the ground because there wasn't anything notable. But if you want to see, there it is. I don't know what that is. Bunch of clad. Maybe. Five Wheaties and an old smashed up ring. The fun will happen tomorrow. Let's go there. I'm done with this day. Shazam. Woohoo! Awesome. Uh, it's March 12th. It's going to be an absolutely beautiful day. Uh, I am wearing my sunscreen today, Mommy. So I will get all red. I found Bill. He's going to be detecting with us today. Um, Brad and Leo are actually in jail. They uh, they in one of those nightclubs where guys dress like girls and there was some funny business going on. Well, long story short, they won't be with us today. Hopefully they'll get out soon. But we're gonna go try to find some relics, some coins. Let's go. All right, I got my first uh, decent target in the hole. Wasn't terribly deep, but we have some sort of religious metal. I'll clean it up a little bit, show yeah. you some more. I mean, it's a little religious metal, looks like Mother Mary on there. Yeah. Pretty cool. Another thing, I am uh, supporting my local club. I'm wearing my Maryland Free State Treasure Club shirt today. We have our meetings the last Thursday of every month, so if you guys are in Maryland or you're just getting into the hobby, you're welcome to come by, say hi check out what we've been finding. Target's been few and far between today, but I have a nickel sized target in the hole. Check it out. Right there. I think, yeah, right there. Ooh, pretty sure it's a V-nickel. Sweet, I haven't found a V in a while. Let me get some dirt off. All right, she's pretty toasty, but I can see some numbers underneath the bust. And I can't tell if it's 1897 or 1907. But it is a V-nickel, or a victory nickel. And I'm very happy. Or a liberty head nickel, whatever you want to call them. Sweet! Got something shiny going on. Terrible signal. I think there might be some iron mixed in with it, but I popped the plug. I got a silver rim showing. So I'm gonna hand you. Actually, let me show it to you and I'll give you the uh, bell. It's in situ in the plug right there in the middle of the screen. Don't touch it! <laughs> Here you go. Seated or Barbara? Seated. No, forget that. Why don't you be seated? Seated. Seated, seated. Oh yeah. I think I see a one dime. We are seated or barber people. Get off of there dirt. 
running out of foo foo juice. Oh, I'm so happy. One dime. Oh, come on, seated. Come on, seated. Seated! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. I love this game. I love this game. It listened to me. Oh, I can't believe I pulled another seated dime in here. Let's say 87. Get off of there, dirt. Oh, she's in good shape. Look at that. Seated Liberty Dime 1887. And I see a full Liberty. I have another 87 that's beautiful like that. Oh man, come here, baby. Come here, baby. You little beautiful thing, you. You just made my day. Lady Liberty. Oh, Lady Liberty, how I love thee. Oh, yeah, she's pretty. Seated dime. Seated dime. Seated dime. Silver smile. Silver smile. All right, well, we're taking a break. Um, I hope Brad and Leo are having a nice lunch being served to them in jail. And they're not making them eat each other. Eat your lunch. Mm -hmm. Well, we're done eating lunch. Now we're having dessert. I'm smoking the uh, OPK old powder keg that Brian Berry sent me from the Connecticut Valley tobacconist. And I got a Dominican Republic White Horse Luxury Cigar. That Gary Dover sent us from Florida. So, thank you Trooper Bry. And thank you Gary Dover. Thank you very much guys. Went away over to Bill. Says he's got something. What you got buddy? I might have caught a coin like you caught yours. Kind of nickel. Yeah, what are you digging some of this plug? Oh, yeah, somebody else up here. Get out of here. That wasn't even deep. No. Definitely worn out. But you can just barely tell there's a shield there. I'm looking at the lines off of it. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. Hey, awesome. i get some dirt off. Show you some more. As you can see, got a little five there in the middle and some stars around the outside. And this side is clipped, but Bill did not do that. It was clipped before Bill got here. And the date would be right at the bottom, so we're probably not going to get anything off of it. But the shield nickels were minted from 1866 to 1883. So that's a old nickel. That's a first first nickel the U.S. ever made. Awesome, buddy. Thank you. Sweet! Well, I must say, Trooper Bry, the cigar is phenomenal. Thank you very much really strong I think I'm high I might have the munchies but it's really smooth and very consistent thank you we got a target hole come check it out put that guy in there little cigar holder a little coin peeking out green it's gotta be Indian get some dirt off I'll show you some more and there you go Indian head penny pretty good shape too the date is 1902 sweet first engine of the day we'll take it hopefully we'll find some more <clears throat> caught my plug it's a new one for me I know a lot of people have found them look at that that's the remnants have a little change purse. Now hopefully there's something in there with it. I'm gonna put that down there. Get my pinpointer out. Come on baby. Damn. Alright. 
Let me scan the hole. Oh. Maybe there was something in it. Oh look, there was an iron nail in it. Awesome. <sighs> um, yeah. So, I'm gonna dig around here a little more. If I find anything that was in the purse, I'll let you know. But How is there anything in the purse? What's in the purse? Well, I'm done for the day. It was a strange, strange day. Um, hit the ground really hard. The signals were really weird today. Very few and far between decent signals and even the good targets that I dug were not so great signals. But I worked through the strange signals and found a few goodies. Check them out. Bill actually left early. He had to take care of some family stuff. Typical yummy trash. You know, big pieces of iron, your nails, your bottle caps, pull tabs, all that yummy stuff. Found that little uh, part to the change purse. That didn't have any change in it. A religious token, a vehicle, a 1902 Indian, I believe this is 1907, and that little beauty right there. Still has a mint luster to it. If I hit it just right, you can just sort of see the mint luster. But that is 1887, that's a seated Liberty dime. Absolutely beautiful. Worked hard for 16 cents today, but we got that awesome old silver. I got that silver smile. There's the Hoover boys. We dig it all, and we'll see you on the next dig. It's like having another kid with this guy. I had to get him a coffee, I had to buy him his lunch. Here you go, buddy. Uh-huh. Yeah, thanks. Uh -huh. What's up with the beard? I like it. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to be like you. I got a diet orange. You're a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Nah, we, don't, we, we don't want to see our fupas. A what? A fupas? Yeah, we don't want to see our fupas. I thought you were talking about our Dunlop. Yeah. Belly Dunlopped over our belts. Yeah, well, I was going to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? Off my dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, yours does hang a little low. Oh, thanks. You know what that is? That's all that extra beer. I can't get rid of it. Thanks, Bill. You're welcome. Why is it not focusing? Focus. Why are you not focusing? Let me put you guys in the shadow for some reason. It's not focusing for me. Why the F is it not focusing? This thing does not want to focus okay. at all. Old, old powder O P O E. Uh, ugh, I'm retarded. Thank you, Super Bry. Thank you, Super Bry. <laughs> oh, you idiot! Please go give my buddy Trooper Bry a subscription. He's a good guy. And if you're in Connecticut, go to Connecticut Valley Tobacconist. Try a cigar. They're delicious. And as always, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, all that good stuff. You guys are awesome.